Previously in Naraji's Nook, I showed you how I use Dollar Tree ornaments, Christmas ornaments, to create amazing home decor. If you haven't watched that video yet, make sure to check it out right after today's video. For today's video, without wasting much of your time, let's get right into it. Hello beautiful people, as promised, I'm not gonna waste your time so we're gonna dig right into it. But first, if you're new here, my name is Nora G and I would love it if you can hit that subscribe button and join my Nook family. For my returning subscribers, thank you for coming back. So these DIYs are basically DIYs I've had in the past, but our family is growing guys. So of course, it is Christmas season, my favorite season, so I have to share this. Okay, so for our first and second DIY, as you've seen, I'm using wine glass from the Dollar Tree and I unintentionally break this glass, which is how this DIY came about. All right, and some marbles as well, which are also from the Dollar Tree. I went ahead and spray painted those and as you can see, I'm using that to create some kind of a decorative top on the broken piece of our glass. I will use the other end of the glass for another DIY, which is the second DIY you would see. Just watch as I do this. So like I had mentioned, I intentionally broke this glass and it broke really nicely. So I thought, why not do something with it? And that is how I came about doing this. So, um, but if you're looking to trying this, there's, uh, there are glass cutters that you can actually use to cut your wine glass. Okay. So I also got this miniature Christmas village paper from the Dollar Tree, which I will be using as well. And the marble slab you see on there is something I had purchased from the thrift store a while back. So I'll be using that as the base for this DIY. All right, so I'll just put together our Christmas village paper and then I'll go ahead to use the wine glass, um, the creative wine glass that we've made to cover that over. And that is how we came about a little Christmas sculpture, guys. What do you think? Please do let me know your thoughts in the comment section. And also at the end of this video, let me know which of the seven DIYs was your absolute favorite. For our second DIY, I'm using the other end of the wine glass and also this unicorns, which I also got from the Dollar Tree. So this one is pretty simple. So it's just going to look like the ones on the carousel that we see at the circles or at the uh, the fairs and all of that. So I'll be putting them together at the base of the wine glass. I'll put two together so that you can see the horses from both sides, however way you turn this. And voila. So it looks good already as it is but because the horses were crystal and they have some gold glitter on them which i really liked um i will go ahead to add some gold dust at the base of the wine glass so i will use my mod podge to have that adhere to this you could use any other strong adhesive of your choosing so you could also use tacky glue for this and this is what it looks like once it was all dried i did go ahead and add another layer to this just so the gold at the base was way thicker as you would see towards the end of this particular diy okay and this is our final look guys so this is both the top and the bottom of the glass put together so you could use it this way and have that covered um, onto the horses and I really loved how this turned out. Another option would be to let the horses be by themselves and then use the top of the glass over the Christmas village um, like I had shown uh, before, like this. I just love this guys. There's something about Christmas I can't explain that just makes me really happy and at peace. So I really love this season. What do you think about Christmas? I would love to know if you can comment that down below and what Christmas reminds you of and just basically how's the atmosphere like for you? I would like to know. Let's chit chat. 
okay guys so i really loved how diy number one and number two turned out the gold vase you see over there with the marbles i also did that in another video i'll have that linked in the description box below so you could actually check it out the tray as well was also diy'd by me in another video which i also have in the description box below for those of you interested to see how i got those made all right as you can see i did add another layer of glitter and it really stood out so do not forget to give this video a thumbs up if you're enjoying the DIYs so far. So everything you see on that tray was basically DIY'd and I have the linked, I have it linked in the description box below for those of you interested. Meanwhile, we're gonna carry on to DIY number three. Alright guys, so this is DIY number 3. I'm using black foam boards. So for those of you who have small spaces or who do not want to crowd your space with a big Christmas tree or any 3D like kind of Christmas tree, I'll be showing you how you can make a 1D or 2D Christmas tree using foam boards. So I grabbed 4 black foam boards from the Dollar Tree and I taped them together using my black duct tape as well from the Dollar Tree. I'll go ahead to cut out a triangle so it's easier to fold it over and then just have it cut out on one side that way your triangle is actually balanced I will use this green garlands that I also got from the Dollar Tree to cover up our foam board triangle which technically is supposed to be our tree So these garlands are pretty short and right now Dollar Tree actually has the longer ones so you will need to grab a couple of those so that your Christmas tree looks a little fuller. I will go ahead and glue this together on the foam board using my hot glue. Again, you could use any other stronger adhesive of your choosing. So this process did take a little while, not too long, but it is a little bit time consuming, just like anything else in this life, basically. All right, okay. So I'm just showing you how you could use darker glue or mud podge as well, but that would take a longer time to cure. So I kept repeating the process until my foam board will be fully covered and make sure to follow a particular pattern if you're choosing to go horizontally make sure you stick to that if you're going vertically make sure you stick to that as well that way it looks very very appealing to the eyes and it doesn't look um, like I kind of put it a little bit confusing our next step will be putting our lights so I'll be using the lights which I also got from the Dollar Tree here and just rubbing them across our Christmas tree once again, this is a wall mounted Christmas tree for those of you who have smaller spaces. And this is also a fun DIY you could do with the kids this Christmas. So next up, I'll put on our decorative ornaments, which I also got from the Dollar Tree. And that is basically it guys so you just put as enough the creative ornaments as much as you want and this is also a fun DIY to do with the kids like I had mentioned and here is our final look all plugged in and we had this mounted up using command hooks and also some vertical strips what do you think please do let me know in the comment section what your thoughts are about this Christmas tree so I did this for a subscriber who has kids and she didn't want the kids knocking over her Christmas tree which has been the history in the past. So this actually was a fun DIY to do and she really loved it as well as her kids. We also had the Christmas gift wrappings at the base of this tree which looked really nice. I just unfortunately did not get to capture that for you guys. Okay guys, so I really loved how this turned out, so do let me know which of the 7 DIYs was your absolute favorite at the end of this video. Meanwhile, let's carry on to our next DIY. 
okay guys so DIY number four and five are also a pair just like one and two and I'll be showing you how I made these very beautiful glass lighted snowman Mr. Frosty using fish bowls so I got the, the fish bowls the smallest one I got from the Dollar Tree and the other two I got them from a dollar store so they're all dollar stores but compared to the Dollar Tree they were more than a dollar which I'll have the price on the screen here for you okay so you just need to get big bigger biggest to be able to do your snowman so i chose to hand paint this because i love the stroke that it gives kind of give it like a snow effect somehow so um that's why i chose to use my brush to do this instead of a spray paint so overall three of these costed me eight dollars as you had seen the prices on the screen so I didn't paint the bottom because I'll be mounting these together and I also have the light inside and I want the light to shine through. Next up, I'll use this wooden slab, which I've had at home for a while now, to put on our snowman. And using my hot glue and my E6000 glue, I'll go ahead to glue them together. Just watch as I do this. So with the E6000 glue, this is not going anywhere. I made this snowman since 2020 and believe you me, I still have it at home and I've been using it every Christmas. I so love this and everyone that comes to the house actually really do like it. Alright, so now that we have our snowman's body, Frosty Winter's body is all set guys. I have to go on to create a hat for our frosty. To do so, I'm using cardboard and some plastic cups. So for this option, if you're able to find a small nice black hat, good for you, go for it. But if you're not if you're like me and unable to find one, why not DIY it, right? Okay, so yeah. I will go ahead to DIY our Frosty's hat, which kind of looks like a Magic Shins hat, and I'll go ahead to put that on. So it's a lot of cardboard here, which you could also use foam board uh, in place of cardboard if you do not have this at hand. Okay, so the cup kind of gave me a good guide uh, with the shape of the hat. If you do not have that, you can actually just go ahead and cut out cardboard and do that. Do the same process, and it will look just as good. So next up, I use some black duct tape to cover up the cardboard, just so everything kind of lines up together. Since we had to cut out a lot of pieces. And once I had that fully covered to my satisfaction, I will go ahead to glue that down onto the round piece. Alright, so I love how our hat is coming together guys. So once I had that glued down to mask the cardboard edges, I used some um, painter's tape to cover that up. And next up, cut out some paper as well to make that um, make the area on the top of the hat to look more smooth because I'm going to go ahead and paint this all black. Okay guys, I know this is a lot of paper but this is just so it has like a seamless finish. Uh, at the end of the day before we go ahead to paint it because once you have it all painted all of that will not matter okay so once I had it painted I'm going to set it aside to dry properly while I continue to work on our frosting so I'll be using these gemstones which I also got from the Dollar Tree I'll paint them black and this is going to form the eyes and buttons for of our frosty the snowman and while that is drying out i will also use aluminum foil to create frosty's arms 
typically you could use branches for this if you find the perfect branches but I didn't so I am actually making mine using aluminum foil and once again I'm painting them all black I will set that aside to dry properly and now to mold Frosty's nose if you have carrots that do not go bad you could actually use that but i wanted a 3d nose for our frosty because his eyes and button are going to be 3d as well as his hat so i used this dry clay to mold that and once i had that all molded i went ahead to paint it using some acrylic paint and i will set it aside to dry as well now that everything is all dry, I will go ahead to start gluing them together onto our Frosty's winter body. <laughs> Alright, so I'm using my hot glue. You could use a stronger adhesive of your choosing once again. And now our Frosty can see guys. And now he can smile as well. I'll go ahead and put his nose and his buttons. I love how our frosty is coming along guys what do you think so to give some life to his eyes I used some white acrylic paint and added some dots on there and as you can see it immediately pops so that actually make a big difference between his eyes and the buttons So I also got this red muffler from Dollarama, which is like a Dollar Tree, which I'll be using on our Frosty, as you can see, to keep him warm, <laughs> even though it's made from snow. <laughs> the irony anyways. So yeah, I went ahead and adorned his hat using some ribbons as well from the Dollar Tree. so I love our frosty's hat guys I really love how this hat turned out I'll go ahead to glue that on his head I'm sorry frosty I'm putting hot glue on your head but yeah I just love it I love this for him okay <laughs> all right so our frosty is looking all get up and ready for Christmas guys what do you think about our frosty so I got these lights from Amazon, I'll have that linked in the description box below. They're changing as well, so you could change the lights or you could choose a particular light, that's up to you. So I'll go ahead and put some batteries in there and you just watch to the end for the full lighting effect of our Frosty the Snowman. Right? So first I needed some company and I decided to use these three wine glasses just to create you know, some extra characters that would be by our Frosty. To do so, I'm using some glitter, gold glitter and mud podge at the base of these wine glasses which I got from the Dollar Tree. Okay, you know, it's not good to be lonely so that's why I thought to create, you know, some minions for our frosty <laughs> anyway so these are going to be candle holders and you could use actual or four candles on this so once i had that done i went ahead to paint the inside white just like i had done with our frosty and now i'm going to give them some personality by drawing out your faces so it's gonna be your mom dad and your baby that is just in my head guys so yeah you can have fun with this however way you want all right, so now that I have your faces all lighted up, I'll go ahead to do some nice bows to be put at the base of the glasses, which is technically your heads, okay? <laughs> so I'm using the typical Christmas colors, green, red, and gold, and some silver for this one. Alright, so this is a typical DIY on the budget because these glasses are all basically a dollar fifty or dollar. And then the candles, that is up to you if you want to use full candles or real candles. I'm using full candles for this and I loved how this turned out guys. What do you think? Alright, so those are our Frosty's minions. I love how they turned out. 
and putting them all together this is what it looks like please do comment below what you think about our frosty and also again which of the seven diys was your absolute favorite For the Santa, I did not make that. I actually got that from the thrift store and I just really liked how it looked. So we have Santa, Frosty and Frosty's Minions together. Okay guys, if you have any questions about this particular DIY, please do let me know down below and I'll be sure to respond to your questions. Thank you. Okay, so just like I had promised, this is what it looks like with the lights turned off and just the uh, the changing lights in our frosty. I really loved how this immediately gave the Christmas effect and atmosphere. So you should definitely try this DIY and let me know how it goes. Once again, if you've watched right up to this point, Please do show your girl some love in comment Christmas down below and let's get talking guys. You know how we always do on this channel. So yes, do give this video a thumbs up if you're enjoying it so far and do not forget to comment Christmas down below. So DIY number 6 is actually very straight to the point and I'll be using just two items here which would be this ornament from the Dollar Tree as well as the shower curtain ring which I just showed you at the start of this DIY. So to create this I'll be using the shower curtain ring as well as my hot glue. You could also use E6000 glue or Gorilla glue for this for a stronger hold. I will put two together and then go over here to use the ornament onto this to create a Christmas napkin ring. Be sure to fold the area where um, the ribbon was hanging where you normally would hang this on a Christmas tree just so it has a nice rounded effect so it's well balanced. So I will go ahead to glue this together with our shower curtain ring and that should create our napkin ring as you would see. Just watch as I complete this. So as much as I like the crystal effect of the shower curtain rings, uh, that may be off putting for some people. So you could actually choose to spray paint that gold or whatever color of your choosing prior to putting it together with your ornament. So this is what it looked like once I was done putting it together guys. Very easy and very straight to the point. I'll go ahead and make the rest of it. So I did a total number of six for the placement in my dining. These particular ornaments come in different colors at the Dollar Tree. I chose gold, so you could choose any other of your choosing. So you could actually double the shower curtain rings or you could just use one ring just like I just showed you right now. So I'll go ahead to show you how I displayed this for thanksgiving even though it's christmas this is the holiday period and thanksgiving eases right into christmas guys so yes i will use that interchangeably <laughs> anyways so this is how i put my napkins together to use this and imagine this over a green napkin for christmas or a red napkin you name it it would look just as good okay so yeah So this is how I chose to fold my napkins to use the napkin rings over it. Once again, this is all personal preference. You can fold your napkins however way you want and put your, your napkin rings into them. Okay, so I liked this way because it really showcased our DIY napkin ring. Okay, so this is how it looks like on my table. So this was my Thanksgiving placement. No, Canadian Thanksgiving is different from the US Thanksgiving so since your Thanksgiving is ahead uh, still ahead you could actually you know pick a, a tip or two from my placement and you could try that as well if you want all right so I really loved how this popped against the black plates which are also from the Dollar Tree the glasses as well are from the Dollar Tree 
charger plates and spoons from Amazon which I have in the description box below. So what do you think about this easy napkin ring DIY for Christmas? Please do let me know in the comment section below. Like I have mentioned, this was for Thanksgiving. For Christmas, I'm just gonna swap them out and that I'm just changing, maybe add some greeneries, some greens and some reds and gold, of course, the Chris typical Christmas colors, and we'll call it a day, okay? I also have other videos on the channel um, for my Christmas table settings, so if you're interested in those, make sure to check out my other videos on that. I'll have that linked in the description box below as well, or you could just find it on my channel. Now on to our final DIY, DIY number seven. So DIY number seven, I was actually at a subscriber's home and they just wanted to do a nice, lovely table setting placement using only Dollar Tree items and some items from the house like the table mats that we have on here. So as you see, the table runner from the Dollar Tree, the charger plates from the Dollar Tree, the plates from the Dollar Tree, the napkins, as well as the water glasses. And I also got these picks from the Dollar Tree, which I'll be using to create a floral arrangement, a Christmas floral arrangement. I do apologize, I ran out of juice, so I miss, some, miss showing you some steps on how I put this together. But the long and short is we put these picks together using the foam that I also got from the Dollar Tree. So I put everything together and also used this Mardi Gras, gold Mardi Gras beads over it, and that was it. I also used some of the candles you see on there from the Dollar Tree. And this is our tablescape, guys. Our Dollar Tree Christmas table setting. Okay, so yes, you can actually do an entire table setting using only Dollar Tree items. What do you think about this simple table setting, guys? And this is the same subscriber that we did the Christmas tree for. Okay, the wall hanging Christmas tree. So please do let me know what your thoughts are about these DIYs. If you did enjoy all seven of these DIYs, please do not forget to hit that like button and also hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you do not miss a thing. In the meantime, always remember to be your fun self no matter what life throws at you. Thank you for watching and have a great holiday.